had that camera about four years. That, that, that's been the same camera since I uh, started coming down here. I've been, been kicking. It only, on the YouTube, it only goes 480p though. It don't go 720 or 1080. You gotta step on shit up. Yeah. 1080, that's the, the top, right? Yeah, that's when you, yeah. Right, everybody, everything's high def now, you know? Fuck, you don't need that high def shit though, really. No, not really. It helps though when you zoom it in on pictures, text, it's more clear. Yeah. Well, here, I found it. Uh, I found it. I can't see that. I'm gonna put the sign though. I'm not. Thank you. You already hit record? Oh, go ahead. This is, um, I'm, I'm sure y'all probably seen it though. The new, it's called, it's called Chagas. The kissing bug disease warns U.S. health officials. Um, here, there's the picture of it right there. That's the bug right there. Mm. It look like a ladybug, don't it? Or something? It look right like here. a See? bed yeah, bug in the Let me read some of this stuff. These bitches got bed bugs in their pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Spider webs and all. We do got bed bugs and crabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are bugs. Yeah. Okay. Them is living organisms. <laughs> You're right. Right, right. <laughs> I'm going to read a little bit of this. Um, in 2012, researchers from Baylor College of Medicine in Houston called Chagas the new HIV, AIDS of Americas, in a research paper highlighting the growing presence of the kissing bug disease in the United States this week. The same researchers reiterated their concerns over the growing presence of Chagas infections in North America. We're in North America. Chagas disease called a silent killer because the parasitic infection is difficult to detect at its onset with few to no symptoms. It has mostly been considered a problem confined to Latin America, but health officials are increasingly worried the disease is globalized. You know, he saw uh, created this shit in the laboratory, these bugs. Just oh, like yeah. that genetically modified all, all kind of other shit. You know, what, what is that guy? I should get Amos. Is that Amos 4 and 10? I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I can't believe it. Well, I, you got, I, I can't even see it. I don't even know what You got chocolates plus uh, Plus you got That's Ebola. Right there, right there. We got all these new diseases popping off. Plus uh, 110 million Americans got STDs. Well, that's just what they got on record. So it's really way higher than that. Right. Hey, there's, there's all kinds of diseases out here. We got, I need a light. Can't we do it? No, I can't read my light with my light. Oh, you're going blind. Well, I'm here. <laughs> they get your spectacles. That's a bifocal. No, I got real uh, glasses. Now my grandpa wore trifocals. That's what my dad wore. Oh yeah? Trifocals. <laughs> I think it was more than trifocals. Didn't they say Benjamin Franklin invented the bifocals? <laughs> What's up, you devil? That's <laughs> fake. El Diablo. That's your boy, the, the Sephardic Jew. He oh, that was him? He was wearing his little Judah hat today. Oh yeah, his titty cap hat. Yeah, his titty, yeah, yeah. Titty cap. What the fuck is that? Who gonna wear a little tiny little hat on your head? What the fuck is that shit, man? When they start doing that? <laughs> so you know that's the, you know, you know the so-called Jews are a bunch of faggots. They all walk around wearing little itty bitty hats on their head, looking like douchebags. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never gonna catch me wearing no shit like that. <laughs> how's that. How's that supposed to make you holy? And then the Pope and the Cardinals and the Catholic Church, they wear the same little hat. They pledge allegiance to the Jew, the, to Esau. Oh yeah, they sure do wear that same goddamn hat. Yeah, they that wear the same thing. shit. Yeah. That, that shows that they, and, uh, they bow down to the Jew. Here's a Jew in Henry. <laughs> you know, there's some Israelites, that, that whole van was taped up, had duct tape on the window, <laughs> had a different colored door. <laughs> what you look I gotta get my Bible. Let me, let me get this scripture real quick. Oh, he got this one. What you got? What you got? Jeremiah 51 and yeah. 6. Right. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. 
for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Yeah, Babylon's America. Oh yeah, so them diseases, that's part of that recompense. But the ultimate recompense is that those nuclear missiles. That's the ultimate yeah. recompense. That's that cherry on top. But yeah, the Lord, the Lord gonna soften y'all up first with some Ebola, with some Chagas, or with some STDs, with some martial law, you know what I mean, some race rights. He, he gonna soften y'all up before he hit y'all with those missiles. Before he just consume y'all with that fire. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, all these heathens, they mad. They insane. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her pain? Take bomb for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. We, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Ain't no, yeah, ain't no hill in America. Like your boy Alex Jones says, we're turning it around. <laughs> Everybody get amped up because the Republicans just took the Congress and the Senate. They ain't going to do a goddamn thing. I guarantee you, <laughs> they ain't going to do shit. Now, for a If a Republican wants to get the office back, President, and they get control of the Senate like they have in Congress, and there's no change, what the idiot's going to say then? Right. They're going to they gonna have to start killing people. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can do. But before that comes, you got to wait, what, another two years? For the, for the, it's just a waiting game. They, you wait two years, ain't no chance. Because you know they they uh, they vote in the congressman every two years, and the senators every seven years, and the president every four years. So it's just you waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Man, shit, shit getting worse. It ain't getting better. You know that shit. It's it came all back in here again. You know, oh yeah. Him dead. <coughs> yeah, you know McCain's still up in there. How the fuck? Cause you know the elections is rigged, but McCain is still getting elected. Mm -hmm. That don't even make no sense. That defies logic. That, that defies the laws of physics. Remember the remember the uh, the speech that he went to this town they and the, dude, the military dude got up and was reading the thing and he was like, we want we need to we gonna rest you or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, McCain was looking for the door. <laughs> <laughs> that was some deep ass shit, man. And that's what's gonna happen eventually. People's gonna start killing cops. People's gonna start, it's gonna be like the French Revolution on steroids. Motherfuckers gonna start killing cops. They already, you see what they doing down in Mexico. Hey, fucking those cops up in Mexico. That's Ooh. gonna come to America. Ooh. All over parts of the world, they had that, uh, what's that anonymous protest they had over, the over there in the UK? They was here in America too, in DC. The million uh, mask march. Man, they was fucking those cops up over there in the UK. They already burnt London down once. They gonna burn that bitch down again. You know what I mean? They they burnt and they going after. They going for blood too. I see. You know who Russell Brand is that comedian. Oh yeah, that bugged out. I think he a genius. He was an ex crackhead. But he was out in the middle of the protest, telling everybody to be peaceful. He's like, stay cool, everybody. <laughs> everybody was like, boo, boo. <laughs> they booed his ass. So ain't gonna be no peace. They gonna start killing cops. Over there in the UK, they gonna go after the royal family. Oh, they had over in Turkey. The uh, civilians over there in Turkey Ooh, was yeah, they abusing those uh, Marines. The Marines. Yeah. Oh, they took them down. And they, and they are NATO allies. That was a little. Turkey. That, yeah, yeah. But you can see that so dude. Just tell you that, 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 to down. that sailor they was picking on, he looked like an Edomite. Yeah, he was straight Edomite. He, he, he looked like, because they wouldn't do that to you no. Know, you know, uh, to know hardcore Israelite. No, they, he, they, was, they was, he was frail as hell. Yeah, he, he looked, yeah, they picked a little weak, frail target. And they was saying, you need a, this is our land. And actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turkey, Istanbul is not the Muslim's land. That's our land, okay? Because Israel controlled Istanbul. It used to be called Constantinople, okay? That was the capital of the Byzantine Empire, okay? That was the richest city on the planet earth for a thousand years and we ruled the whole planet earth from constantinople for a thousand years until those goddamn muslims to the edomites they were actually edomite turks the turks are edomites 
and they conquered Constantinople. And they, you know what I'm saying? They turned, uh, uh, they turned the, uh, goddamn plate fuck out my brain. What's that church, the Hagia Sophia, that temple over there? That big, gigantic temple, they turned it into a mosque. So Istanbul does not belong to you filthy Turks, okay? So if anything, what really should have happened right there, if there was any kind of righteousness in the world, after they beat up that faggot sailor, they should have took the guns on that boat and started shooting goddamn Turks. That's what they should have did. But they ain't gonna do that. Uh, what did you find to read? You got that scripture? All right, read this scripture. Amos 4, verse 10. I have sent among you the pestilence after the men of Egypt. Your, your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses and have made the stink of your camps. I read that again from the top. Uh, Amos 4, verse 10. I have sent among you the pestilence among, after the manner of Egypt. Oh, the pestilence is after the manner of Egypt. What, happened, what did the Lord do to Egypt? He hit Egypt with all kind of plagues. And hit him with diseases. He hit him with uh, locusts. You know what I'm saying? He made it rain uh, hell and ice on him. He killed all the firstborn son. So the Lord, so the Lord hitting these fools with all kind of pestilence. Why don't you just read Jeremiah 149? Uh, Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah, okay. okay. Jeremiah 49, 51 mentions the same shit they did to Egypt back then. My name is Josh Bob Ryan. Two deep north high to downtown. We out here screaming for help. How about when you get a hotel under the arch? What? What did you say? What? No green or brown in the streets. Please. I want a hotel in my town of Rachel to my own day. My town's on the hotel. We doing the same things. We doing the same things. My name is Josh Bob Ryan, man. What? What's that? My name is Jabal Allah. Who is the original man? What kind of name? Are you a Muslim? Who is the original man? Are you a Muslim? How can you be Asiatic? You from Asia? That's what the name Africa used to be. The Africa? That used to be the name of Africa years ago. Years, years, years ago. Asian. Asian. So that means you a Muslim. We got, we got no love for Muslims. I don't care. I don't care. We got no love. Blow my brain. My name is, I'm an original man of Asiatic black man. I'm going to make it the only thing that's black man. So that's just something you heard. No, you it ain't just, nothing I heard, it's something, something I know. That's something you just repeating, oh, no. you just heard it. No, well, that's what you repeating in that book you got. Now this is the real book. Are you a godly man? Are you the Quran? Uh, can I ask you a question? Are you yes. a godly man? Yes, sir. You a God-fearing man? God -fearing man. What's the Lord's name, man? Uh, we call him everything. We call him Yahweh. See, that's why we can't do nothing for you because you just make a shit up. We call him. What do you mean? We only got one guy. It's right, only right, one guy right, in the right. But you just said he had many we names. We all connect. People call him many names. Well, people are fools. They are. Right, right. They call him Yahweh. The whole no, life. we ask what you call him. He's my Lord. My Lord ain't no man's type. He's my Lord. He's the creator. No, that ain't He's his name creator. either. That's not his name either. Brother. We belong to one divine creation. First, let me, no, let me read you. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. We belong to one family. When thou wilt do good, we belong know to, to one whom family. thou doest it. Brother, we belong to one family of God. Read this again. We belong to one race. Thou do good. We belong to one race. Know to yeah. whom thou doest it. So shalt thou be fit for the bit thy benefits. Do good to the godly man and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice yeah. as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. So you, you trying to you trying to overmaster us. Alright, now go to Jobs. 
Go to Dallas. You got your Bible, you read it. Go to Dallas. No, you, you, earlier you mocked this book. Jesus said, you just mocked this book moments ago. Jesus said we was all gods. We are all gods. We are gods. You're right, you're right. Jesus said, we know the church. We are all gods. And he gave me, but a little G and an S means more than one. No, in the Hebrew, there ain't no lowercase. He said, isn't it in your law I written that we were all gods? We are gods. This when they were stoning the rock. What's your point? He said, isn't it written in your law that I said? What's your point? Jesus said, we are all gods. What's your point, bro? But who are gods? He said, who are gods? If it was written in the scriptures from the Father, then the scriptures came out. Did he say everybody was God? I'm God, buddy. My name is God, to by law, man. I'm God's son. He's the father, I'm his son. And man, I don't care what you say. My name is God Jabbar. Okay, God. God, 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 God presented me with the knowledge, the wisdom, and That's the understanding. Why you out here teaching so I can take my I do. He, he planted the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding so I can take my right to take my and teach freedom, justice, and equality to all you young he, brothers and sisters. Equality. Black, black knowledge and stuff. I teach it. I'm a teacher. Listen, I'm a poor way to teach it. Listen, that, man, that, if you that, don't that, want to tell me, if you don't know the first name, you don't teach nobody. If you nothing, think man. I ain't nothing, then shoot. I'm ready no, to die. Say you ain't I will go back to the hey, essence hey, of the universe. As a matter of fact, ain't none of us anything. I will go back and return to the essence of the universe where I came from. Hey, that's I good. come from solid liquids and gases from the universe. Solid liquids and, and gases. And I will go back to that. The essence well, of you're going to go back to that father is where you're going to go back That's to. That's right. When he called for me, I'm going back to the solid. Yeah, you're right about that much. Yeah. But we try to tell you. Yeah. Come hold up, man. Hold, hold up, man. Let me ask you a question. Up, one question. Hold up, man. Hold up. Let me ask you just one question. You said we are gods. That's what he said. No, no. We are gods. But who is we? We're the children of the Lord. Who's the children Ooh. of the Lord? My Ooh. father, the creator. But they got a what? name, though. They got a name. Who? My father created me. Who? But he created image. Who, who, who did he create, create this image? I created man. Not man, own. not man. He created Adam. He said, let's create man in our own. It's in the Bible. He didn't create he all said, men let after us his No. Not you gotta be specific when you teach a, people. Let us do what it. people this look. There's 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 a whole bunch of nations on this planet Earth. The Israelis, the oh, Israelites. Not the is see. That's where you're going off at. Ain't no Israeli. Hey, Israelis are devils. You're right. It's the okay. Israelites. Okay. Hey, look, the Israelites. Hey, that's what I said. These people are the gods right said. here. These people are the gods right and here. Not the heathens. These people. I'm God. I'm God. He told me. These are the only gods on Earth. Go to Psalms 82. He yeah. said, Yeah, you're right. God stand in the congregations of the mighty. Ye are all God. He said, God stand. Go to Psalms 82. I know that scripture. Go to Psalms 82. I know. I, 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 he said, God stand in the He said, Israel's God. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. He said, God stand in the congregation. You know what a congregation is? The congregation. Uh, the assembly, a assembly, a congregation. This is, like, is a, this is a congregation. He, he, that's right. This is a congregation in the assembly. He said, God standing in the assembly of the mighty. Who's the mighty? He going to tell you, God, the other God. Don't you know the angels are the Israelites? The other gods with the little G, with the S. That's all you know. You know, the, you know the angels are Israelites. Read, yeah, it, read it for me. He said we going to die like me. He, like me. That's why we he fucked said, up right he now. Said, I'm he I'm said we going to die like me. God, but we going to die. And we princes, and we going to die like That's me. why we in this condition we are in now. We going to die like men. But we're gods. That's right. We're why are we like? Why are we in this situation? Like that, but we dying like a mere man. Right, and, and, and that's because we broke his law and his commandments. So he took that <laughs> that that spiritual body away from Let us. Let me read this. That's uh, why we fucked up. Psalm right now. eighty-two and six. Read I have said, "Ye are gods." And like you said, you're a little G. Yeah, but, but I asked me but the, more than but one. the Bible wasn't written in English. In Hebrew, there ain't no lowercase. And it says, "Alahayim." Well, read it. Which is all it, up But we're going to die like men. Say, you, and say, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. And we must feed our needy, our poor, well, hold our on, fatherless. Hold on. And he's like, you are princes, and you are die yeah, like men. But it don't say nothing. It said the like children, that. who the children, ain't everybody the child of the Most High. Read, read Exodus uh, oh, because 4 Because you got a higher self and a lower self. You going to be God or the only devil? It, only you Israel. You going to be God or the devil? Which only, one you going to be? There's two forces in Only life. Israel are children in the world. Hey, who's that? Exodus 4, verse 22. Listen to this. And I say unto thee, oh, you said 22. And thou, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my, my son, even my firstborn. So Israel, the Israelites are the sons of God, nobody else. Okay. It's all about Israel. Because you got a lot of heathens out here. You got Edomites. Brother, I study, man. I study. Who is Esau? 
Esau is, is Jesus. No, no, that's Esau. <laughs> Esau. That's enough you just struck no, down right Esau. there. No, Esau. Esau. Who, who, the Edomites. That's the Arabic name. And who, who are the children of e Esau? Not Esau, Esau. I saw. You tell me. You tell me. If I'm I don't know, to tell you if I don't know, it's fine. If I don't know. Oh, he about to get a fool. Who you about to get a fool? I'm not a fool. I'm a wise man. <laughs> this is Genesis 36 and 8. Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Get yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, Job, uh, Job 9. We're gonna, we're gonna ask you a question. See if you can answer it. Okay. Wasn't nobody with me. Cause, cause the Lord only coming for Israelites. My mother carried me. That's, for, that's why my, that, mother, my mother carried me for nine months with nobody in her womb, but nobody in her womb but me and God. All my. You come from your I, father. I though. come from a total state. Of, yes, I come from my father and my mother's womb, right. but nobody in there but me and God all night. And so total nine state of night. Listen to this. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who controls the planet Earth? Yes. The devil. The devil trying to control it. Right? Be specific. Be specific. The devil is trying to control this planet right now. If you let, trying if, to tell if, you if you fall, fall, if you fall victim, we're if trying you fall to explain victim to, you to you devices, devices, then you in trouble. The devil is trying to control it. Hey man, but I like you, brother. I love you. Your family. Hey look, man. I gotta go. Hey, I gotta go. Y'all out here every day? No, we're just every Thursday. Every Thursday? Every Thursday. I'm gonna come back Thursday. I'm gonna come back to speak to you. I'm you already here right now. And I'm gonna come back with a couple of my brothers. You, you drunk though, ain't you? You've been drinking. That's what I heard. I feel you. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I can't. No, I'm not gonna lie to my brother. No, no, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You, you, know you can drink. I can drink. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we're doing the same thing. I'm trying to do something like that. I'm 66 years old. I'm an old man. I'm a wise man. But I drunk, I know how to drink in moderation. I just drunk enough to kill the people. Oh, I, I hate all you Cause drinking. I got bullets in me. I can just tell I you got, you got a spirit. I got bullets in me, brother. I'm military. Right. I was a gangbanger. Gangbanger, huh? Yeah, years ago. I don't reap do what that. you sow, huh? I reap what I sow. It's taking the stall off. I got bullets in me. I got a fuse up and one leg is short in the year. And I drunk just to kill the pain. Let me ask you, what's your nationality? Don't tell me Asiatic black man. There ain't no such thing. That, that, that ain't in the Bible. Okay, you don't want to hear that? God's son. Well, who's God's son? It's Israel. Because you're an Israelite. Yes! Hey! Come on, man, fight with me. They want to beat me up. Come they said on. they want to beat me up. <laughs> They're trying to beat me up. <laughs> we hurt. Because you're an Israelite, we bro. Hurt. You're an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Give me a heart, baby. <laughs> you an Israelite. Don't talk that Asiatic black man. Give me a heart, baby. Oh, Thank you, black man. Hey, thank you, my brothers. You, you an Israelite. You ain't just black. We come in our shirt. Hey, Thursday. Thursday. This Saturday. Same time. <laughs> Yeah, he's not. He is, why am I asking my friend? He's in that spirit. He's in that drunk spirit. He trying to, he trying to teach you shit. Hey, Thursday, I'll be out here next week. Okay, man. That's the same shit everybody else knows. Nothing. <laughs> A whole bunch of useless information. Asiatic black man. <laughs> Just like, the, yeah, that, I was about to say, uh, the black, that's a that's a result of the black consciousness. That, that's the Moors, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know about the Moors, but... Don't the Moors teach that? Asiatic black? Cause yeah, oh, Farrakhan, the Moors teach Farrakhan that? says... Well, Farrakhan hey, teaches that? Well, Farrakhan says Asia is the whole damn world. <laughs> that's what I've heard him teach that. So that's what the Moors teach. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they call themselves Moors. You know the word Moor, that means brown. That's also where you get the word mortuary, the morgue. Will you got you, you got, you got being a goddamn morgue to call yourself a moor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're spiritually you're spiritually dead. Dead. Yeah, you're spiritually dead. They actually uh be saying more too, like it's actually like that's another tribe. Like that's a that's a nation. <laughs> more just means uh really means death is what it means, shit. That's what it means, it means death. And then uh, half the Moors, they get their doctrine from the goddamn Turks. Remember how I was just talking about the Turks uh -huh. right before he came up? Because yeah, you got a lot of these bays out there. They give themselves that title, bay. 
Uh, What's well, all that them makes sense. That's why they wear that Ooh. same fucking they, hat. Yeah, they wear a lot of those moors. They wear yeah, the uh, graduation type the, thing hanging. The fez. Yeah. It's a red fez, and the red fez go back to the uh, the, the the. There's this battle in Morocco in northern Africa, in the town called Fez, mm. where a bunch of uh, Muslims slaughtered and murdered a bunch of Israelite Christians. And then they said they took the hats used to be white, but they dipped them in the blood of the Christians, and that's why their fez is uh, red. And there's Shriner Freemasons wear that hat. You, there's pictures on the internet of uh, uh, Harry Truman wearing that hat. Okay? Yeah, he ain't, Harry Truman's a goddamn Edomite. Okay? That's what we try to tell him. The Esau cannot be saved. There's no salvation for Esau. Like the Turks, the Ottoman Turks, they were Edomites. That's why you got the Freemasonry pay homage to, to uh, the Turks. They all wear the fez, don't they? That goes back to the uh, the Ottoman Empire. To the Turks, all the Turks are Edomites. And the Turks are related to the uh, the Mongolians. You know, like with Genghis Khan, they were Edomites. And they're related to the Ashkenazi Jews who are Edomites. They're all the devil. Okay? Here we go. Uh, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And so as soon as Esau is born, he come out speaking lies. Yeah. <laughs> if you a goddamn Muslim, you got problems, man. You got issues. Because when, when you call yourself a Muslim, you essentially, uh, you giving praises to the heathen, man. Because Muhammad was a heathen. All the Muslims are heathens. You know what I'm saying? It's a book written by a heathen for a heathen. Now everybody want to talk about the Quran. They said the Quran was written by Muhammad, but then they say Muhammad was illiterate. So how the hell could Muhammad write the Quran if he couldn't even read or write? So what does that tell you? That tells you a lot, man. Now you gotta be you gotta be retarded to follow Islam. You gotta be uh, stupid. <laughs> Man, if people fall for that shit, man. That's because, you know, the nation of Islam fools, they come out wearing the nice suits. Like with Farrakhan and them, they all clean and shit. They got the jewelry. They got the little fag of little bow ties. And you ain't gonna never see me wearing no bow tie, man. It, you gotta have serious problems to be wearing a fucking bow tie looking like Pee Wee Herman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I never understood that fucking dumbass bow tie. I don't know what that's all about. There's probably some kind of symbolism behind it. Oh yeah. Just like a time. What's up, homie? I've been driving by y'all for years. Oh, for real? Pizza. For years? Every time. Yeah, three years. <laughs> look for a pizza to drive by. Oh yeah? Finally, I got a night off to come to see you. <laughs> oh, that's what's what up, what y'all are talking about. We're just talking, we teaching the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. That's what we teach. My dad right here. Huh? My dad right there. Oh, for real? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how's it going there? We here to reprogram people. <laughs> yeah. I said people's version of the Bible, they have no clue. Yeah, they got no clue. They have no understanding of the Bible. You know what I mean? It's a different thing knowing the Bible than being a private program. You know, all these people doing. Get program. Jeremiah 23 and, uh... You know, I'm you know, Zechariah 23. My name is Zechariah. Oh, uh, Zechariah only go to 14, though. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name though, Zachariah is a good name. Get uh Hillary. Yeah. It what? It shows that you're an Israelite. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> like, that is an Israelite name. Yeah, you all probably you're probably Israelite yeah. shit. You came up here to hear the word. You're an Israelite. Only right, Israelite right, right, go. Right, right. We gotta go over here to this church. Oh, uh, you wait three better. years, boy. Where are you going? The fifth, the church. Oh the hell with that church. It's gonna burn. This this is this is a real church. This is right a real here. church right here. Hold on. Before you leave, let me give you it. Before you leave, let me give just read me it. Give me give me hold on, hold on. Here, we already got something for you. Read this. Matt, uh, here, bro, come here. I got a scripture for you. I'll let him go. Let him, let, let's hey. let him remain fit. Right, try to let him get three years. He's waiting three years to talk to us. Three years. <laughs> three years. Read that. And you're going to go get his free read dinner. Jeremiah 23 and one. one. Jeremiah 23 and one. Whoa, be on to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. That's the spirit, ain't it? I didn't know he was going to a church. Keep going. 
and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. So, so all y'all these pastors, the church, like I said, that church is gonna burn, man. Just for that very reason that just just happened just now, they gonna burn for that. Keep going. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, Matthew, yea, Jeremiah have scattered my flock and driven them away. He just drove them away right there, didn't they? Instead of getting this real truth, they going to some bullshit church. Getting their free dinner. Getting, oh, that's probably they getting free dinner or something. These churches ain't nothing but, they got nothing but gimmicks. They keep people in there with gimmicks, with free ham sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? And they feed you nothing but pork. Keep reading that, man. It's on fire. We're going with all of that. What they say? They're going to get a meal? No. Yeah, he did. he did. Oh, did he? They're going to get there. a meal. Yeah. They're going to eat. They probably, yeah, that's the only way they get people in there. You got to give you something for free. They got to give you an incentive, something physical. So we get people a spiritual incentive. <laughs> uh, we we going to feed you, uh, we going to feed you too. We going to give you a hot meal. And this is the meal that we going to give you. Keep going. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Now that's all they going to do, give you food. They going to teach you no scriptures. They ain't going to teach you no history. They're not going to tell you that you're an Israelite. The word Israel will never proceed out a pastor's mouth. Never. Once. And if they do read Israel in the Bible, they skip over it real fast. Keep going. <laughs> Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. That's why I told you that church is going to get burnt to the ground. They gonna, The Lord's going to burn that shit up, man. With all the rest of these churches, they're going to get burnt by that fire. Keep going. Says the Lord. And I will... And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them. Oh, yeah, because some people have a problem with us saying them two white dudes are Israelites, you know. But it was obviously by the spirit, you could tell they was Israelites. Dude's name was Zechariah. He was a wicked ass Israelite. <laughs> you know, Israel is wicked, man. Israel ain't right. Israel, that's right. Israel's retarded. Just like Jeremiah 4 22 said, my people is foolish. Keep going. But I have a hold up. Uh, uh, it said the Lord gonna gather Israel out of all the countries when they've been scattered, because Israel scattered among all nations. Okay, even like your boy that was just up here, the uh, Asiatic black man. He said, uh, he said, uh, what, right before he left, he said, "We come in all colors or something." Keep going. You do it straight. And we'll bring them again to their foes and they shall be fruitful and increase and i will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them and they shall fear no more oh yeah shepherd you know the word shepherd come from sheep herder right but like the lord is the good shepherd and we're his sheep right so you got bad shepherds you got good shepherds and the lord in fact we're gonna lead you to green pastures you know the word pastor come from the word pastures. That's why a shepherd takes his herd or takes his sheep to, uh, uh, to the pastures to give them food. Alright? That's where the word pastor comes from. Pastures. Keep going. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Right. I mean, lacking and you know, understanding. Not lacking in a hot meal. Give you something to eat. This is the real food, is this. And the Bible said, man, what the Lord said in the New Testament, when uh, Satan was tempting the Lord out in the wilderness, he said, if you, what do he say, if you're the son of God, turn that, uh, if you're hungry, because the Lord had been fasting for 40 days. So he said, if you're hungry, turn that rock into a loaf of bread. And then the Lord came back and said, man shall not live by bread alone. Quoted the scripture out the law. Keep going. Yeah, because you ain't supposed, you don't live by bread alone. This is the bread of life, is this. Hey, let's get that bread of life up in the... Uh, uh, Jeremiah 23 and 16, thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Right, when these churches get out there, they teach you that all nations can be saved, 
and they teach you that Jesus uh, is all love and God is nothing but love and he would never, you know, there's no hatred in God. God is just all love, okay? And he's going to make you wealthy. He's going to make you prosper and, and all this madness. And they got these prosperity preachers. And they to say that it's okay for a woman to, to be a preacher and you can have faggot preachers. Because I guarantee you the church is going to probably got a woman preacher. Almost all these churches now got women preachers. If they're not a woman preacher, it's a homosexual preacher. And they got homosexuals all up in their congregation. They got goddamn transvestites in their congregation. I've seen it with my own eyes multiple times. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord hath said, Yea, shall ye shall, shall have peace. And they say unto everyone. Oh, that's what I was just saying. That you're gonna have peace. The churches teach us oh, nothing but peace. God loves you. Uh, read that again. Jeremiah 23 and 17. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord hath said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Right, that's what they teach in them churches. Ain't you gonna be a faggot, homosexual, transvestite? Uh, you, a woman can uh, have many divorces that she wants. A woman can have five different babies. Daddies, it's okay, Jesus loves you. Keep going. For who have stood in the counsel of the Lord and have perceived and heard his word, who have marked his word and heard it, behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. <laughs> Even a grievous whirlwind. That's a grievous, like I told you, that church is going to be consumed by fire, okay? The, that, 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 that pastor, that church is maybe angry. I like talking to people, giving them the truth. So when these pastors, they got blood on their hands, they're going to have to pay for that, man, because they scattered the sheep. So the Lord is going to consume all these churches with fire. That's all, that's all they're going to be to it. They're going to get burned up. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he hath executed. The anger of the Lord? The Lord is angry? So yeah, the Lord is very angry. So the Lord God is not all love. Whoever told you that is a liar. You know? Until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart. In the, la in the latter days. Are we in the latter days right now? Keep going. Ye shall consider it perfectly. Oh, you gonna consider it perfectly. Keep going. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Right, the Lord, the Lord ain't dealing with none of these preachers, man. He ain't dealing with, plus I'll go back to all these so-called spiritual leaders too. You got the Egyptologists that think the Lord is dealing with them. You got these Muslim leaders think the Lord is dealing with them. Uh, yeah, Louis Farrick clown claims he's a prophet. He say the Lord talked to him. Allah talked to him. Saying Allah talked, just dealing with him. Called him on the phone. You know what I'm saying? No, deeper. Farrick said he's the last prophet. Oh yeah, he said he's the last prophet. Imagine that shit. Plus, you got all these other spiritual leaders, all these new age people you hear on coast to coast. It'd be on the radio shows. There's so many whacked out, bugged out teachers out here. They all like to say the Lord talked to me today and told me something. <laughs> <laughs> this verse really goes right along with that too. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 23, 22. But if they had stood in my council and had caused my people to hear my words. It's the council right here because and then we're dealing with his book and what his book says. Keep going. I'm gonna start from the top. But if they had stood in my council and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way. Yeah, right. What's the evil way? The evil way is that don't commit adultery. All right. Don't be a faggot. All right. Uh, don't eat pork. You're supposed to follow the laws that's in the Bible. Don't be celebrating Christmas and Easter. Don't be following the ways of the goddamn heathen. But these churches, they embrace all the heathen customs. They teach you to celebrate Christmas. They, they have when they have a big Christmas meal, they're all eating pork, eating sausage, bacon. Have a they'll have a Christmas or a, they'll have a, a breakfast at the church. Everybody eats swine's flesh up in the church. That's a 
an abomination. He going, I seen it with my own eyes. I was raised a Southern Baptist. He going, then they shall, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. I am I a God at hand, says the Lord, and not a God afar off. Yeah, he's not a God afar off. He, yeah, the Lord is right there in the midst of your ass. Keep going. <laughs> Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Says the Lord, do not I fill heaven and earth? Says the Lord. Yeah, because the most high is everything. You can't escape it. Is there more to there? Is that the point? Or I want to bring this up. Okay. Yeah, you go. Well, you go ahead. Yo, I wanted to bring this uh, script. What did you have something you wanted to bring out? Go ahead, go ahead. I wanted him to bring out this uh uh what's that John 6 or what? Yeah, read it out, read it kind of loud too. Yeah, cuz these churches, the only way they get people in there is by feeding them. Like those fools was going to that church to get a hot meal. Okay? I'd rather starve to hear this word anyway, you know what I mean? But like the scripture said, man shall not live by bread alone. Read that. John 6, verse 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, As said you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Right, unless, you, unless people say, that's where the Catholic Church will say, I'll oh, see it. The wine and the bread is actually Jesus' blood when it's an obvious parable. Because <laughs> drink, drinking the wine, the blood, and, and eating the bread is his word and his knowledge. That's what it means. Not yeah, it's not cannibalism. Yeah, it's not cannibalism. Because you have a lot of people say, oh, uh, oh, your religion is a religion of vampires. Well, we don't have a religion, but. And this is not talking about vamp vampirism. Vampirism, how would you say that? Vamp this is not a vampiric doctrine. Yeah. Vampirism. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a freaking parable. That's why the Lord said, I speak in parables because it's not for them to understand. Or something like talking that. To yeah. Yeah. That, you hear that all the time. I know. South Park made a joke on it. Yeah, they try to make it look like we're actual. No, it's a fucking parable. It's a metaphor. It's a dark saying. Right. Uh, uh, so go ahead and keep going. We so eat of my flesh and drink of my blood. <laughs> I, ret I return to life. So if whoever eats the bread, that's his word. Just like the scripture said to eat that roll. Mm -hmm. That, that's his word. That's, that's a heathen for you, though. Yeah, he you know what I'm saying? Hear that shit. They'll hear that scripture. And no, actually. Because like, you got actually, because I've seen stuff on the internet where these oh, the bugged way. out heathens will eat somebody mm. and think that they're mm. getting their power, getting, yeah. uh, you that's know, power from them. Yeah. Um, they can shit see over the loan, all across the. Yeah. What's that, the, uh, well, yeah, not too Africa? long ago oh, in yeah. Africa, they killed uh, mm -hmm. some, some guerrilla military group. Right. Killed. Killed a arch nemesis leader or something, mm. and then they cooked him, and everybody ate him. Mm. 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 But yeah, but the Catholic Church teaches that the, 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 the they, when they take communion, they teach the blood is actually the Lord's blood. So I mean, they know it's a parable. They turn it into some kind of devil worship and ceremony. Uh, but keep going. And I will raise him up at the last day. So yeah, if you keep these words, just like. It was that Revelation 2. It says, He that keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nation. Keeping his works, I'm not keeping his word. Uh, keep going. For my flesh is indeed. Oh, sorry. Uh, for my flesh is meat indeed. Yeah, because the flesh is word. Because the Lord said, He he is the. the Yahweh Shai is the, the living word. He's the, the, the word manifested. Okay. Uh, keep going. And my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. That's his word. Okay, keep going. As the living Father hath sent me, I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Right, so we live by the words of the, the Lord. We don't follow the ways of man. We don't follow the, uh, the American way. They don't follow the ways of Thomas Jefferson and uh, who else? All these other whacked out philosophers. Keep going. Because you got a lot of great Americans out here. You know, 
know, they, they want to follow the ways of Thomas Jefferson and George Washington, people who didn't even believe in the Bible. Keep going. That is the bread which come down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. But he that eateth of the bread shall live forever. That's your eternal life. Keep going. These things said in the synagogue as he taught in the Keep going. Many therefore of the disciples, when they had read this, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying. So it's a hard saying like we was just saying, because people saw that's vampirism. Or, yeah, you're vampires. Cause it's a hard saying for a dumbass. You know, because the, the, the disciples, to be honest, they really want the brightest. Okay? The Lord had to break stuff down to them. It took them a second to get a lot of stuff. The Lord had to explain it to them. Because these sayings were new at the time, too. Right. You can hear it. And when all shot knew for himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What, what and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? Ascend up? What's that talking about? The Son of Man ascend up after the Lord died and came back to life. He got beamed up into a, a spaceship, into a, a starship, a UFO, a cherry, okay? Because you know, that that's how I got interested in the Bible, is from the UFOs. If I was into the Bible, I was all interested up in the UFOs, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's it, it more talk of UFOs in the Bible than any other book, okay? Any, I don't give a damn. You ever hear about UFOs in ancient Egypt? They talk about UFOs? The only book that talks about the UFOs is the Bible. It's all through it. Especially in the New Testament. There's a lot of it in the New Testament. Uh, keep going. Yeah, that's when the Lord is talking about the Lord ascends up. Yeah, I mean, he's getting beamed up in a chariot. Keep going. It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The flesh profited nothing. So them fools going to that church to get a hot meal to please their flesh, that ain't profited them nothing. Nothing. It ain't gonna hurt them to starve for a night. You know what I mean? You can go like what two weeks with no food? Yeah, they just eating just to eat. Talking about he been waiting for three years to talk to us. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't talking nothing. But that last the homeless dude, all he cared about was getting a hot meal. He said he thought we gonna get him a hotel room. This is my dad right, right here. This is my dad. His dad was starving. <laughs> they looking broke down. Yeah, so ready to roll. Two broke down hillbillies. Yeah. We got more to that scripture. Yeah, there's more too. Yeah, I got one right. I got something. I'll let you finish this up, then we get that. Words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Oh, so, are, oh I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Read that again. Words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But these are the words of life. Keep going. But there are some of you that believe not. Some of y'all don't believe. Yeah, you got no, you got no faith. Like them fools of walk up, they don't really believe in the Lord. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, black conscious, Asiatic black man too. Oh, they, oh they yeah, don't they really believe, believe in the Lord either. Uh, you know? They really don't. Plus the Muslims, they don't believe in the Lord. They said they believe in Isa. But they, you know, it's just G, that's what the, the Muslims call Jesus, or so-called Jesus. Isa. Isa. But they say he did. He, they say he never uh, resurrected. They denied a resurrection, and they said it was actually Judas that got crucified. Oh wow! Hey, you never heard that? Yeah, I heard I that hear a that lot. One. I heard that a lot. You know what? Um, yeah. What's the faggot that's There's in jail for child molestation? Uh, uh, yeah. In his York. book, in his book, that's in there too. That's in his book too. That's uh, Malachi big, York. Well, he got how many names? He got a thousand. Let people, how everybody worship this dude, Malachi York, but he went to prison mm -hmm. for child molestation. Right, right, right. This motherfucker's a goddamn child molester. Children. And he admitted to it on tape, on camera. It's on YouTube. We already made a video about it with yeah. the video in the video. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no getting around that one. Is there more than that? Oh yeah, hold up, yeah, cause if you're a Muslim, they like, well, you believe in Jesus too. <laughs> no, you don't. First of all, his name is Yahweh Shah. It's not Jesus, it's not Isis. 
Okay, he did die on the cross, and then he, he, he came back to life and got beaten up into a chariot. Mm. Cause they try to say he was just a regular man, and he died like everybody else. He was just a prophet. You got your fucking mind. Keep going. Well, Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were. Oh, but they try to say Ma Muhammad. Oh, he, he's greater than the Son of God. Shit. Muhammad is a big faggot. Child, he a faggot too? Yeah, big. Uh, he couldn't even read or write. Him and his pearls. Yeah, his pearls. They, they refer to him little boys and shit. Yeah. Little wow. And you read it in the Quran, didn't you? Yeah. Where it said, uh, uh, the, uh, they, they said, uh, destroyed uh, by young handsome men. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because the Quran really actually yeah. says you can rape little boys. <laughs> Pretty much is what it says. Now, who the hell? Yes. One of being a kingdom getting served, and you a man, what? one of getting served by young handsome, handsome boys. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, that even shows that um, that's a baby of the Catholic Church. Oh, it is. Because that's a custom of that Catholic Church. Let's really go back to the Jews. Esau. Go. go back to Esau. There you go. It all goes back to Esau. The Esau took over the Catholic Church. I mean, everywhere your point is convicting them goddamn devils, man. Oh, but actually, yeah, actually, yeah. actually, Israel, though, they actually did write the Quran well, one. Yeah, cut going to um, so, yeah, the Crusade. The Crusade. The Council of Council of Council of oh, yeah, wait, my fault. I'm going way back. Yeah, those, those black folks. Mm -hmm. it came, yeah, it was around the year, what, 600, somewhere mm -hmm. AD, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I said the Crusades. I'm fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so, the Crusades is the one when we is fucking you Muslims up. Uh, that's what I was looking for in the book on the Crusade. That's what I was looking for. I can never remember the Crusades. Man. I can never remember. But well, it was more than it's like five Crusades. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead with that. <laughs> yeah, Sha knew from the beginning who they were that believed not. Huh, that's funny. He said they knew from the beginning. So before the earth was even created, the Lord had already chose yep. who was chosen or not. Like I, I, I texted his brother earlier today. I asked if he was ready to teach today. He told me he was ready to teach before the earth was formed. <laughs> right, 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 right. I told him that was the correct 